Mark 68 with you to anoint the NFL's greatest franchise without a Super Bowl championship, the Minnesota Vikings. Yes, the Vikings have played in some of the greatest games in the history of the league, produced exciting players, almost always in contention, but 0 for 4 in the NFL's ultimate game. They, of course, in the next couple weeks, have a chance to erase history. What goes back 49 years of frustration for Vikings fans all the way back to their inception in 1961 when Fran Tarkington, a rookie from Georgia, became one of the great NFL quarterbacks of all time but could never quite get the championship. Tarkington went to New York and in stepped Joe Kapp and a great Minnesota defense, the purple people eaters in the late 60s, but as a 14-point favorite in Super Bowl IV, tripped up against the Kansas City Chiefs 23-7. The Vikings would go on to be one of the best teams in the 70s in the NFL, but they always ran into an AFC powerhouse. First, the Dolphins coming off an undefeated season the year before, down the Vikings in the 74 Super Bowl. Then it was the Steelers, who of course became one of the great franchises ever. And then it was the Oakland Raiders in the 77 Super Bowl be behind Fred Bolitnikoff and Kenny Stabler. And the Vikings were the laughing stock of the NFL when it came to winning franchises because they just couldn't win the big one 0 for 4 in the 70s in the Super Bowl. And they haven't been back since. They were really good in the 80s at spots, especially late in the 80s with guys like Joey Browner and, of course, Anthony Carter on offense, but never had the big-time quarterback to make it happen in the 80s, and they constantly lost in the playoffs. They lost to the Rams. They lost to the Niners several times and into the 90s with, again, some of the great players in the NFL. Chris Carter, Randy Moss, Robert Smith, Corey Stringer. Some good quarterbacks, Jeff George, Randall Cunningham, but more playoff losses and into the 2000s. They've really not contended since that embarrassing NFC Championship game lost to the Giants 41-0 in 2000. So here we are, Brett Favre's on board, Adrian Peterson, arguably the best running back in the NFL, and the Vikings show Tony Romo that they've got a defense that is fast and hard-hitting and determined. So it may happen, Vikings fans, finally, in the year 2010, after 50 years of existence in the NFL, you could become a Super Bowl champion. But of course, you would just be one of many Super Bowl champions. Right now, you are the greatest franchise in the NFL's history without a Super Bowl championship. Tell me what you think, and we'll talk later. I'm on the mark, 68.